the karmic just wants you all gone. They don't care if you don't want your person anymore and you are releasing your person to the karmic. They don't care. The karmic just wants you gone. This is why I tell people karmics are not our friends. And Wheel of Fortune, yeah, it's, it's something here like they want you to meet up with them somewhere at night. Okay, this is serious. Yeah, Eight of Wands, you see, Spirit is saying yes. This is a serious warning from Spirit. Okay, this karmic has no remorse. The tower wanted to come out. Literally, the tower, the Five of Wands, the moon. I can't even make this up. Wanting you to meet up with them for dinner somewhere, to talk, to discuss things. And really, as soon as you get in the car, a bunch of people are going to jump on you, speak to y'all, try to meet up. But you see, it would be the tower. It would, look, I can't show this because YouTube's guidelines, but the Ten of Swords, I'm telling you guys, I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm going to keep y'all trapped or stuck in a situation, and it didn't work. So now they want to come in and communicate to you. Hello, Cancer, how are you? Welcome back to the channel, Starseaside here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is who is coming towards you and their intentions and what do they want from you. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for my Cancerians. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for divine guidance and celestial light. Somebody here, like, there, there's like a, a fox, like, I don't know if it's a fox or like a kitsune, a kitsune spirit fox, like, like, there's something here about a fox spirit animal it could be a kitsune right or you could be a kitsune yourself and maybe you haven't realized that yet uh, something here about a fox though anyhow let's get into this let's see okay we have the number nine that's the hermit virgo energy that is mercury in transit then you have aquarius that is the star card that is uranus okay in transit then you have Mars upside down, pointing straight down. So that's the Tower, the Fool, the Emperor, all in reverse. And this is Mars retrograde. Mm, what's at the bottom here? The Page of Swords. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm a little scared with the direction this read is headed. Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords. Okay. I heard the name Angelo. Okay, so there's a karmic here. Karmic wish or warlock. And they're going to be uh, reaching out to you. They're, they're, whoever this karmic is, like they're watching you very, very closely. Okay, I do see that here. Um, hmm, yeah. And they are most certainly doing the spell work. Okay. That's weird. Ten of Cups crossing almost upright. Ten of Cups crossing almost upright. It seems to me like there was some sort of divine connection here or, some, or, or something that could have been like wish fulfillment, a dream come true. And somebody tried to block that or somebody did block that. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Like somebody... some Or, or they're trying to keep you from it. Yeah, the strength card, but it didn't work. You see how that whale is being freed from that nut. So, there was a karmic energy here trying to keep y'all trapped or stuck in a situation. And it didn't work. So now they want to come in and communicate to you about how much they hate you. What on earth is this? What on earth? Queen of Pentacles, Magician crossing, too, too many cards crossing, too much stuff being done on the side, 
The magician crossing on the side, magic being done on the side, spell work being done. This came out in your most recent read, where somebody was trying to give you the you know what. Yeah, this queen of swords, I'm telling y'all, it's this queen of swords, it's this karmic. Look, this karmic wants to, look, the hierophant literally writing. Who's coming toward you? This karmic, they want to meet up somewhere at night to fight, okay? They want to meet up somewhere to, to throw down with you. They're mad at you. They're mad? This karmic wants to pull up to your house or something? Oh, God. This karmic is mad. This karmic wants to pull up to your house. Is something here? Yeah, the Three of Cups. This karmic wants to jump, y'all. Yeah, the hangman. They, they want to cast you in some sort of trap here. The hangman. They want to catch you in some sort of trap. They they want you to walk right into their their game. The world. Yeah, th this karmic is uh, stalking y'all. Y'all need to have a ring camera. Okay, you need to have a camera, a doorbell camera. You you need to be on guard, okay? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. It, it's like... I feel like this karmic is trying to like get somebody to do something to you and they're trying to pay somebody here. They're trying to pay someone here to, to do something to you. It's like they want you gone. Four of Pentacles. What is that Four of Pentacles? Can you tell me, Spirit? Ace of Cups. They know, okay. This karmic got involved with your specific person, right? And the Two of Pentacles is there. This karmic knows that this, your person, right? Your specific person. If you don't have a specific person, I don't think this is your read then. But for those of you that do have a specific person and you know for a fact that they were with their party karmic, it's like this karmic knows that this person is into you and into this karmic. You see, th this karmic knows that they're being juggled or they feel like they're being juggled, okay, by your specific person. Now, I say your specific person because I feel like it's, it's you guys that are a mash, not this karmic. Th this karmic is just a karmic lesson. Yeah, I'm going to get my notification for Duolingo. So that's a language, a language learning app. So it's like this karmic and this person, like they don't speak the same language. Like they have different love language. They they just don't match. They never understand each other. They're always fighting. It's just really nasty. And now I feel like this this karmic is like blaming it on you. The Six of Cups? What is this? And the karmic is blaming it on you. It's something here about kids. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, it's because this karmic is very immature. Five of Cups and the Fool. This is someone that uses their emotions to get what they want. This karmic is trying to lure you, lure you guys into a trap. Yeah, the lovers there. Which way is the deck? This Queen of Pentacles is going to be face up like that. This karmic is trying to lure y'all into a trap. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah. It's, it's something here, like, they want you to meet up with them somewhere at night. Or they want to, like, meet up with you at dinner or something. There's something here about night. This is a trap, you guys. This is a trap if I didn't see one myself. Like, the, yeah, yeah. Like, this is like sitting at the table with Judas... Okay, this is what this is. The Ten of Pentacles and the Moon. I'm telling y'all. Look, I'm telling y'all. The High Priestess. This karmic. This karmic witch or warlock is very much targeting you guys at this time. They are working overtime. They are paying people to do spell work. But the thing is, they, they, they are losing their patience. Okay, the High Priestess talks about being still. But the Eight of Pentacles, that's an energy of working, going after it. Okay? Getting it done. And this karmic wants you out of the picture for good. Okay? 
This karmic wants you out of the picture for good. Okay, they want to be with this person. They don't care. That That's the thing. You see, this is the thing. And some people are just like, oh, the karmic can have them. That's the thing. The karmic doesn't care if you say that. The karmic just wants you all gone. They don't care if you don't want your person anymore and you are releasing your person to the karmic. They don't care. The karmic just wants you gone. This is why I tell people karmics are not our friends. They are not anybody that we need to be associating with. And we do not need to meet up with them anywhere or go anywhere or be involved with them. We don't even need to be in the same room as them. Okay? They are just not good people. They're karmic. Okay? Their job is to be a karmic this lifetime. They are not... In that contract, it's not to be your friend. You know, people of Reddit, I'm talking to you because some of you, I've seen those posts where you're like, I'm friends with the karmic. Love, you are not friends with the karmic. The karmic just has you exactly where they want you. You're playing right into their game. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this karmic wants to sit down and exchange information about you and this person. Uh, I just feel like this is all a lie. This is just... It's just a really grimy energy. You know how, like... You know how, like, a, <laughs> like, I don't even want to, but you know how, like, a street corner where, like, you know, the you know what stands, <laughs> like, that's what this feels like, like, no judgment to anybody, but it just gets this really sleazy vibe, like, this really grimy vibe, like, that's what I get here, the two of pentacles, yeah, they're tired. They're tired of being juggled, you see? As long as you're around, like, they know that your person wants to be with you. Yeah, Eight of Swords. So they're either trying to get rid of you or they want you locked up because they know your person is in love with you. Even if you don't want your specific person, your divine counterpart, your twin flame. Yeah, Three of Swords, you see? The karmic's trying to figure out how to communicate to you, okay, so that they can get rid of you, the Eight of Cups, so that your person can finally accept that you're gone for good, okay, whether that's you're six foot under or you're locked away in prison, like, that's what that that's basically it, like, this karmic wants you gone, it's something here, like, I don't know if it's like hiring somebody to do something to you, the Six of Cups, and there's that Eight of Pentacles again, yeah. I'm Five of Cups in, in reverse. Seven of Swords. This this karmic, I'm telling you, this karmic has an remorse towards you guys. You guys, this is a serious warning from Spirit, okay? This is serious, yeah. Eight of Wands, you see, Spirit is saying yes. This is a serious warning from Spirit, okay? This karmic has no remorse. The Tower wanted to come out. Literally, the Tower, the Five of Wands, the Moon. I can't even make this up. Wanting you to meet up with them for dinner somewhere, to talk, to discuss things. And really, as soon as you get in the car, a bunch of people are going to jump on you, attack you. Knight of Cups, yeah, want wanting to go out to drinks. This is going to be at night. It could even be with your person. Like, oh, let's, let's all meet up. And your person is weak. I'm going to call it how it is. They are weak because they know this, but they're not warning you. They're just going to go right along with the plan. Your person could be the one inviting you to this dinner. And then what do you know? You pull up and the karmic is there. Absolutely not. Look at this. The two of cups, the ten of wands, nine of pentacles, everything you worked hard for, the three of cups and the nine of wands. This third party karmic wants to destroy it. This read is really heavy. It's really heavy. Look, Page of Swords, guys. Page of Swords in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse can't survive the tower. This is a tower. Like, if you choose, and the Ace of Swords, Bear saying is the truth. If you choose to indulge in this foolishness, you like, and I feel like most of you aren't, but some of you, you're still thinking, like, this karmic isn't as bad. 
if you choose to indulge in this foolishness, you are going to pay the consequences. And there may be no going back. Yeah, Two of Cups. Like, you already know the truth deep down. You already know the truth deep down. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Spirit says yes. You already know the truth deep down about this witch, this warlock. You don't need any more confirmation. Y'all don't need any... Yeah, Queen of Wands. Th th I'm telling you, this karmic and this person are going to try to speak to y'all. Try to meet up, but you see, it would be the tower. It would, it, look, I can't show this because YouTube's guidelines... But the Ten of Swords, I'm telling you guys, I'm trying to tell y'all, this is a serious warning. This is a serious warning. Yeah, this Queen of Swords, this Warlock, this third, this third party karmic is going to try to lure you into a trap. Yep, and it's nothing good coming out of that. I'm telling you, I can't make up the energy. I can't make up the energy. Spirit is saying don't even respond to this person. Don't even respond to this person. Don't say nothing to this person. If you feel like your life is in danger, don't be afraid to take action and move yourself into calm calm waters, okay? The Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Also, don't be afraid to get the authorities involved. If you have it on camera, this wish or warlock driving around your home, don't be afraid to file a restraining order as well. Yeah, library is there. You you have been warned about this karma. This is not the first time you have been warned about this. Yeah, you see dynamite. Destroy. Catalyst for change. Explosive. Unexpected blast. Fast. Okay. Rainbow. Inventor. Autumn. Fine print. Autumn is Sam Hain. Okay. Um, you know, something that a lot of pagans celebrate. But Sam Hain, right, is that representation of the days getting shorter and the darkness coming. Or I think it was the opposite. But it represents, it basically it represents death. Like, that's what it represents for the most part. And since you're getting autumn there... Like rainbow, inventor, fine print. Spirit is saying you need to look at the uh, the fine print here. What it means to be a I'm trying to figure out the Sam Hain. If it is if it's the Veals fan, yeah. Let me see. The approximate, yeah, marks the approximate midway point between the autumn equinox and the winter solstice. Yeah, and it comes when the days are the shortest. Yeah, so... <clears throat> with that autumn energy, it's like... Your days will be put short if you decide to invent something here where you can work something out with your person and this karmic. Like, your days will be cut short. Like, you see here, look back at the fine print. Some of you already know what this contract entails with this karmic, okay? And some of you were mortal enemies with this karmic, okay? Some of you were mortal, and like, some of you may have, you know what clash with this karmic okay there might have been a battle here there could have been like you know the d-e-a-t-h okay somebody could have came like it could have been a battle to the to the you know the d-e-a-t-h that's all i gotta say yeah you see this this woman or this man this karmic wish warlock is driving by your place yeah this could be a gemini libra or aquarius 
driving by your place for a cancer look or a taurus they want to like smash glass on your window or something y'all need to have a camera you guys need to have a camera you need to have your dog you need to go to sleep with something right next to your bed okay you need to be very because this karmic got an itch okay this karmic has an itch whether this is a wish or warlock they have an itch and I'm not saying that they're going to try something foolish. They they most likely are going to try to set you up in something. But just, it's better to be safe than sorry. But I'm getting Sam Hain all over this. And Sam Hain does symbolize death. So that is your read. That is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck. And I wish you love and light. Take care.